you can work really hard sometimes. This is the neighbour's plot, you people. They came and worked hard, rotivated the plot, but then they just left it. And in just six weeks, this is what can happen. You work hard, <laughs> but you need to keep on going. And here I've been working hard, and but I've covered my bed so the weeds won't get a hold underneath there. Still a lot to do. Every time I think I've worked hard, there seems to be a lot to do. All these fruit bushes need to be sorted out. Look at all that cooch grass growing underneath there. And then <clears throat> the raspberries are taking over down there. They're roofless. There's two blackcurrant bushes, but we'll need to rescue them. And yeah, I've worked really hard the last couple of days because here, right at the edge of the polytunnel, cooch grass, bindweed, and so what I've done is I've taken up some matting and put it at the bottom there so that hopefully that will stop the cooch grass and bindweed. One, making this look really untidy, but also stop it maybe encroaching inside the polytunnel. This needs sorting out at the end of the... So do those fruit bushes need pruning? It's getting to that time of year. Julie's dahlia beds are looking okay. Um, I put these leeks in very late. I sowed the seed and then had them for, well, months, I think. And about a month ago I put them in and they're doing really well. Whether they'll produce enough for a crop, we'll have to wait and see. But generally speaking, they'll keep growing until February. So even in March, I could maybe harvest a crop. Um, and um, these bins, I need to put some manure in them and then decide what I'm going to grow in them. Looks like something's coming up in there. Maybe I did put some onions in. Can't remember now. Um, fruit beds are okay. Weeded, manured. And just covered that one with compost that's come out of... That was covered in grass and weeds. I know I haven't got rid of the perennial root, so I'll have to battle that later. But that covering there came out of this bin which is just vegetable waste from the kitchen so all of that bed has been manured with peelings rotted down peelings so and the other thing I've done inside the polytunnel is I put some matting down because bindweed and the cooch grass were awful so down the poor old grapevine at the end there got battered by bindweed and cooch grass so I'm hoping it will have a new start got to sort out that poor old grape at that end and then weed this bed ready for next year and I might even put the matting on this one as well because there is underneath the soil lots of bindweed roots so plenty of jobs to do um, to keep me busy in the winter so, but things look a lot better than they do there's a couple of cucumbers still there one there and one there the last of the cucumbers though and Good. Want lots more of that.